Hello and welcome to my sign making tutorial. Uh, today I'll be making a custom weathered Grand Trunk Western Mount Clemens Signal Department sign. I'll show you how I do it. This sign actually came from the Rivertown Warehouse District of Detroit. Uh, it was a no parking sign at one time from the Kentmore Stamping Facility. But if you want to go back a little further, it's pretty significant property the area the sign came from uh, originally started off as the Pullman Railroad Car Manufacturing Lumber Yard. We'll start here with a little bit of scuffing and prep work. Not going to prime this one. I'm going to leave rust underneath just in case if say the sign sits outside uh, the rust will bleed through eventually kind of give it a more weathered look. Right here we're going to do the base coats. I want the Mount Clemens Signal Department letters to be blue, so we'll lay a blue base for that and the Grand Trunk Noodle logo in white. And I use a Cricut vinyl cutter to cut out like almost like a reverse stencil the decals. I'll print out the decals, lay them on top of the base coat, and then spray the final top coat color over the decal and remove the decal to get the actual paint. I didn't want to use a vinyl. I didn't want to stick a vinyl on the sign. That's just not how I like to do it. So here are the vinyl decals. Setting these up. Um, I'm going to measure, make sure everything's lined up. that set make sure there's no air bubbles make sure the vinyl seals around the edges don't want anything to bleed through tape off my lines to separate the white from the blue and we'll go out and spray the blue top coat for the top half of the sign Let that dry a little bit and now we're going to peel our stencil decal off. We'll start with the bottom side now. Tape off the top and do the Mount Clemens Signal Department letters. I condensed this video down. It was about three hours and 14 minutes total of video work, not including the few days of drying over time that it took. Connect those, measure four or five times to make sure everything's right. bottom signal department section. Now we're ready to spray the white top coat. And the fun part, peeling off all the decals.
this is the finished product without weathering. There's always that point when I step back and I look at the, the finished clean sign and I kind of want to keep it that way, but now nah, weathering it's more fun. This is laying the base rust coat. I use testers paint. This is testers uh, rubber color. And then we'll put some sand. You could use sand. I use sand or dirt. Uh, something to give it a, a bubbly rust texture. I like to do, do the corners kind of heavily too where the sign bolts would be holding it on and then that usually is one of the first spots that uh, a sign would rust. And then the fun part is you can, you know, do your own style. You can put the rust anywhere you want. There's really no way to mess this up. Um, these are just random little rust spot patterns that you, you can put anywhere. You see, lay the paint on pretty thick and then with the sand, pat it down a little bit to kind of get it to stick in there, and then when the paint dries it, it holds a good portion of the sand. I brush it off afterwards to knock the loose grains off, um, but I'll show you later on in the video. Uh, to use super glue to give it a little bit more raised texture, bubbled rust texture as well. brought the sign back home to do more of the rust work. This is a little shot of the apartment view. Um, happened to catch one of the rare moves on the DeQuinder line that day. The Decon, Detroit Connecting Railroad, runs about twice a week and passes right by the apartment. Here's an up close view of adding the super glue for the raised bubbled rust texture. Throw some more sand in there and let that dry. I will take that same rust color and paint over the sand. A side note, uh, I posted a picture of the the previous sign that I did on Facebook and I uh, had a buddy from Australia mention to me, hey, you should do a tutorial about it. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty good idea, so thank you for the idea and this one's for you, man.
All right, now we're gonna take, this is the rust color. I mixed a little bit of the rust color testers with the testers rubber. For a little different shade, we're gonna add a little bit, uh, mix it up a little bit. Add some different shades here. I said I end up uh, probably using seven, seven different, maybe even 10 different mixtures, different shades over the course of the whole sign. Now we're gonna add our little runoff rust streaks from the bubbled areas. This one is just using the uh, straight rust color. Well, like I said, it'll, it'll be layered over time with different different shades to get it to stand out. And like I said, there's no there's no way to really mess this up. I mean, you can do it anything. If you really feel that you messed it up, you can always take a little bit of thinner and, and wipe it wipe it down and, and get the streaks. This is probably the most enjoyable part for me at least. It also helps using different uh, fine tip brushes for this type. Or, you know, you can use uh, even some of the bigger, bigger brushes will work, but I like to use the fine to get the, the real good lines in there. This is adding uh, another mixture. This mixture I mixed yellow with the rust color. A little bit of yellow. They get it to, to pop, the colors to pop a little bit. A little later I'll show you how to get even more streaks with, with thinner. All right, we're back at the tool shop. We're gonna spray clear coat on. The clear coat dries fairly quickly too, and I want the layer of clear on before I mix the thinner. I'll mix thinner with a little bit of the rust testers paint, and then apply it and give it the, the streak marks as well, a little bit, a little bit lighter. But uh, with the the clear coat, basically protects the bottom paint layer so I can run it over with the, the thinner mixture and not take the original rust layers that I painted on previously. So I'll go through and uh, end up putting a few coats of clear coat on top. What I'd like to do with the thinner around the edges of the rust to where it looks like it actually grew out a little bit onto the paint from the rust spots and then using a little foam, a foam brush to get the streaks. And I'll paint a little bit of the edges of the sign. And you can do this whatever pattern you want. It's kind of a random, chunky around the edges. This is using the rubber color. Always use the rubber as a base. And then put the lighter shades of, of rust color on, on the top. Like I said, this is just how I do it. You can do it any way you want. 
it's really hard to make a mistake when you're doing this stuff. Cover it in more rough. Lay it a little bit more clear, let that dry. Use the thinner mixture, paint in thinner mix. Give it a little bit more streak. Especially around the top, you want it to, when the sign sits up on, on the wall, the rust runs down. And these are just little random spots, the thinner and paint mixture, little random rust spots. We'll add. I find these foam little foam pad brushes work the best for, for kind of dabbing the, the paint thinner mixture around to give it the spots. Um, you could use cloths aren't too bad. Sometimes you get the, the texture from the cloth looks kind of funny depending, but uh, I find, like I said, the, the foam, foam pad brushes work the best. And you can go around in, in random spots and kind of smear it around. You don't want it to be too clean and white. Another layer of clear to protect our thinner and rust mixture. And go in and add again. Let's do our finishing layer of rust around the edges. Get street mark. I used a little cloth to dab a little bit more of the thinned paint mixture around. Make sure the whole sign was covered. Now this was clear coat as well. You could take flat clear and clear the sign and take the gloss clear and do the fine details of the rust streaks in the gloss clear like I'm doing here to make the rust streaks stand out. Just kind of an interesting look it gives it. And I say there's many different ways to do to do this and it's just fun to experiment. You know, try things out, try whatever. See how it turns out. And here is our completed sign. With the different texture. And Hey, I'd like to thank you for watching. Um, even more credit if you actually sat through this whole video. I know it was kind of long, but hey, that's how I do it. <laughs>